Adebayo nearly died when he was given fake medicine as a child. Since then, he's tried to make sure that doesn't happen to others. He's invented a simple device to spot fake drugs. It gave me a mission, uh, deciding I was going to be a pharmacist, deciding I was going to build something to make sure that nobody else has to go through my trauma. People, people fixing, fixing, people fixing, fixing the, the world. world. A consignment of illegal medicines is seized by customs. It's a global trade worth $200 billion, which leads to hundreds of thousands of deaths every year. In Africa, specifically, it's very acute. In many countries, between 30 to 50 percent of the medicine supply chain is actually counterfeit and substandard to an extent. Adebayo was 15 when he was given fake drugs for a lung condition. I had taken a dose that night and I didn't wake up the next morning. I was in intensive care for over three weeks. I spent another close to two, three months recovering. But I still live with some of the health care uh, condition from um, almost losing my life from something as trivial as a medicine. After that experience, he decided he was going to study pharmacy. So I was very angry and I really wanted to make a change. And that anger is what turned into a sense of purpose and mission for me that has kept me focused over the last uh, 15 plus years. Now he's designed this portable scanner that tests if a drug is real. It uses light to analyze each pill's unique ingredients. The process is called spectrophotometry. Connect it to the app and tell it what the drug is supposed to be. And in a few seconds, it'll tell you if it matches. And the test result is out. It's a match. The AI has confirmed that it is M and B paracetamol. It can also identify some unknown pills and liquids from its database of over 200 drugs. At $100 a month, though, it's mainly aimed at professionals. But Adebayo thinks it could help in places like this market. It makes me sad that we have medicines being stored um, improperly and handled not in the right manner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's lots of medicine, for example. People get medicines from markets because they can be cheaper. Sometimes you end up with bad medicines, sometimes you end up with fortified medicine. <laughs> you can be lucky today and unlucky tomorrow. And I was the unlucky one. I ended up with something that probably came from somewhere like here. And that almost killed me. Other solutions validate medicines by using packaging or barcodes. Adebayo hopes his solution can improve the whole supply chain. My hope is that across Africa, more and more hospitals, pharmacies, pharmaceutical wholesalers will be able to authenticate the quality of their medicines so that only the highest quality medicines eventually end up in the hands of patients, no matter where they are.